I don't want to be spreading fake news, so I got to post this important weekend update. Infowars.com is back online and back in the hands of the one and only Alex Jones. How long remains to be seen? You may have seen the early report. You might have heard the news. Sadly, on Thursday, the website was shut down. The studio was seized after a very shady supposed auction that sold the assets because of the bankruptcy proceeding, because of the lawfare that they've been waging against him for years. And the site was purchased by The Onion, a big corporate conglomerate that owns the satirical website that used to be funny 25 years ago. Thinking that that's a big joke. Get it? Because The Onion's a fake news website, and they think that Infowars, they say Infowars, a fake news website. So The Onion supposedly bought it. So they were celebrating. They were having their laughs on Thursday. But then the very next day, there was an emergency hearing, and a judge ruled that the supposed auction was a little bit shady and halted the sale of the website, of the assets, of the studio, and it is now back, at least temporarily, in the hands of Alex Jones. Well, here we are, back at the InfoWars studios. I thought it was bought by The Onion. I heard they bought it. He has a sink because that's what Elon Musk brought in when he bought Twitter. He said, you know, let that sink in, kind of a... Interesting joke, making it into a meme. So here's Alex. Let that sink in. He's back. Or they got it at an auction. Turned out it was a rigged auction. Turned out the judge didn't authorize that auction. T- turns out they colluded on the bids beforehand and not told the real people that came to bid. Oh, yes. There's plenty more to get into, but real quick, subscribe to my channel for new here and check back on a regular basis because you're not going to find independent analysis and content like this anywhere else. Newsweek Magazine, Infowars sale to The Onion to be reviewed by Judge. News Nation, the sort of wannabe centrist cable channel where unfortunately Fredo works. Alex Jones, Infowars, not yet sold amid auction concerns. The Onion looked to have purchased Infowars on Thursday. The Texas judge has paused the sale due to legitimacy concerns. And even Elon Musk is involved. Thankfully, he restored Alex Jones' account last year, as you probably saw. And this from NBC News, Elon Musk's ex-corp files notice in Alex Jones' Infor's bankruptcy case. Now, I don't know exactly what this is about, but I'm just assuming that it means that they don't believe that whoever is trying to take claim over the Infowars Twitter account actually has the authorization for... Twitter for X to turn over those accounts to someone else. They're still Alex's accounts. This was some of the liberal media celebrating the news on Thursday. No joke, the Onion parody website buys Alex Jones Infowars out of bankruptcy. Here are a few of the clowns trying to wrestle the studio and the website and the domain name out of Alex's hands. Overnight, the judge in charge of this uh, put a hold on your purchase, raising questions about the process, raising questions about transparency in the bidding mm-hmm. process. What do you make of that? Are you confident this is still going to go through? Yeah, look, we won the bid. Uh, we, 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 we own Infowars, and we are very excited but about that. But is it true that. that you didn't have the highest bid? Uh, yes, because that's what Alex Jones has been saying. Uh, we, we, did, we, we did have the highest bid when you take into account the, the family's uh, concessions here. They, they made a, a, a concerted effort to make, their, make this the best and highest bid for everybody involved. Excuse me, sir, did you actually have the highest bid or was there some shady business going on here? Well, um, you know, uh, uh. so what's happening here is that a patriotic group placed a higher bid than The Onion in order to then operate the InfoWars website and studio as it is and then just keep Alex Jones and the staff on. So Alex would just be the host of a company that he was working for instead of a company that he had previously owned. But... The uh, people overlooking the supposed auction decided to claim that the winner of the auction was somebody who placed a lower bid, but then they promised to allegedly provide more money later, but that's not how it was supposed to work because this was a cash auction, a cash bid. So them promising proceeds to the plaintiffs of future earnings from the website once they own it shouldn't have been allowed to be factored in. That's not how auctions work. You make a cash offer, a cash bid, and then the highest bidder wins. But this was all done in secret. Even if the courts rule that The Onion is the next rightful owner of the website, and by the way, they're actually planning on using it as a satirical website. That's how stupid they are. That would be like trying to rebrand 
Kleenex into a brand of furniture. Like, just not going to work. Infowars will always be Alex Jones. And he already set up another studio and another company, the Alex Jones Network at alexjones.network. It also has their own Twitter account where they were broadcasting from on Thursday with over a million viewers. And hear this from The Atlantic. Alex Jones just went somewhere else. <laughs> the Enforce founder is already broadcasting his conspiracy theories on a new site. Well, what did you think he was going to do? Just go away and shut up? This from NBC News. Alex Jones lost Infowars. Well, we'll see about that. But succeeded in ushering in a new era of right-wing media. Yes, that's right. Total victory. This is the new Twitter account, by the way. AJN Live. Alex Jones Network. I have personally had Infowars.com bookmarked in my browser and been a regular listener since at least 2005, back before YouTube, before Twitter, before all the social media sites, when the only way to listen to a show was to live stream it on Infowars.com. That's what a pioneer Alex Jones has been. And by the way, also, for those who don't know, for the new viewers, those who missed me mention this in previous videos, I've also... Gratefully been a regular guest on Alex's show about every year for the last 19 years since 2005. Alex Jones played not only a pivotal role in inspiring me to do what it is that I do, but also gave me the boost back in 2011 so that I could quit my day job and go full time by literally just fronting me the money to help me print a couple thousand copies of one of my books. And then with that extra cushion, I quit my day job and then I went all in on YouTube and writing. I have the audio interviews saved from many of my appearances on Alex's show over the years, dating back to, I think, even my first appearance. But let me just show you this clip. Others have seen this. I played this before, but for the new viewers, for those who have missed it, this is Alex and I talking back in 2009 about, well, one of my favorite subjects. Can you guess what it is? It all goes back to Operation Mockingbird, which was started back in the 50s, and this is Again, this is not just me saying this or Alex saying this. There was a congressional hearing back in the 1970s, in the mid-70s, that uncovered that the CIA was paying reporters to plant stories uh, and, and also gatekeep. So that was 2009, 15 years ago, before I think he was even having guests Skype into the show. So that was just me calling in like we used to on old-fashioned radio shows before the sort of digital revolution fully went into swing. So bookmark alexjones.network in your browser and follow them on the few social media platforms that will still actually allow free speech. And if you want to support my channel and get yourself a great shirt, head on over to the newly redesigned markdice.com and order this fantastic limited edition special order Trump Claws sweater. The Trump Claws sweatshirt and t-shirt are back, which has a typical graphic printed on the front. But these are woven sweaters. They're knit sweaters. And the yarn is different colors. And so Trump Claws is literally woven into the sweater itself. Special order. Got to order them as soon as possible to be sure to get them in time for Christmas. So head on over to markdice.com. Click the link in the description below and check them out. Check them out.